So well, participant friends, we continue to discuss about the scope of environmental education and uh, we discuss up to point number four and all points have special importance <coughs> at the time of explaining about the scope of environmental education. Today we are to discuss about point number five and the heading of this point is socio-psychological issues means for understanding the specific scope of environmental education we must have the knowledge relating to socio-psychological issues and with all the socio-psychological issues the concern of existence of man's life in the surrounding has close connectivity. So friends, for explaining about the scope of environmental education, we are to discuss in detail about the socio-psychological issues and this is the last point relating to the scope of environmental education. Let us see so much well. There exists close relationship between man and society. Means we know so much well, we understand so much well that the relationship between man and society is very close and very intimate. So far I do remember here in this context about the explanations of Uri Borev, one of the famous Russian writers. Borev at the time of explaining man's place in society and at the same time to explain the significance of society for the progress as well as peaceful survival of man. Borev explained and I like to quote before you in the words of Borev QC man makes society society makes man I am to repeat it man makes society society makes man and this is the dialectics between man and society participant friends when you are to write about educational sociology, the contents of this basic point that is socio-psychological issues, which have specific connectivity or connection with the scope of environmental education, you write the contents of this part, this point, they are to explain the concept of sociology also. So when we we remember about the saying of Uri Vorev. He discussed, he explained, and I like to quote for your good knowledge, man makes society, society makes man. And this is the dialectics. This is the reality. This is the dialectics between man and society. In simple words, that is in understandable way, man makes society and society helps to keep alive the existence of man. In the words of Borev, here it is explained, man develops and improves through society. In the name of other people, this is off, and society develops through man and in the name of the individual. So friends, the relationship between man and society is very intimate. On development of man's depend on society. At the same time, the progress of society also depends on the activity of man. But the activities which you see on which 
Man is to remain concerned or they are in the environment. Man and society and there is environment which has special importance. Let us see the next slide. The question of man's existence is closely associated with the existence of nature. Nature determines and controls the conditions of survival of man and other species in the universe. Man never can determine. Man does not have the capability for the determination of the existence of the natural surrounding. Rather, it is the natural surrounding which determines the existence of man. And basically, we commit mistake here at this, at this point. So friends, for understanding the scope of environmental education, we have to understand so much well about the specific significance of man's activities in the social order in the complex natural environment. On the other hand, men have been trying to unfold the mysteries and use the components and elements of nature for their own interest. Let us see the next slide. Man is selfish by nature. This is the psychological explanation. The nature of man is selfishness. By nature man is selfish. And because of selfishness, man's attitude and behavior towards nature has been getting more and more ruthless. That is, having or showing no pity or com compassion for others, for nature. So man is looting the properties of the environment. And that's why there are so many problems which are coming up towards man's life and throughout the global social order. Among the policymakers and the academicians, the issue of ecological balance, the issue of the balance of the ecosystem has become spatially important or become spatially important issue of discussion. In the words of Kalbasov, he is a Russian writer, nature means the environment includes the entire material world that is found outside human society and which surrounds society. Man takes everything from nature. This is see, friends. We take everything from nature. And in return, what we do, what man does, give nature nothing except the ruthless manifestation of behavior towards nature. Let us see the next slide. Even man fails to understand and remember that all the conditions of existence of the mankind have been intensely associated with the natural world. Man does not have the capacity to change the nature of nature of the universe. Instead, or rather, it is nature which plays dominant roles in changing the behavioral pattern of man. Let us see the next slide. Man has to protect nature, not for the protection, not for the existence of nature. Instead of that, for his own protection. Friends, the utmost significance of the present time is we are to protect nature, not for the sake of nature itself, but for the sake of peaceful existence of human social order in this complex universe. And by studying the contents of environmental education, students can very easily realize the significance of nature for the peaceful existence of man in this complex universe. 
in the words of Kalbas of again, the problem of protecting nature means the environment in fact refers to all its material objects. If you put a question, what does the protection of nature or the environment mean? Then we are to say, it means about, you see, the protection of all the material objects. In fact, is the protection of nature relates only to those components of nature on which the lives of persons depend and whose state in turn depends on the behavior of persons and is partly regulated by persons. So friends, we have to determine our activities. We have to determine our, we have to control our attitude. We have to seek our greeds. Our needs are increasing and totally we are depending on nature and most of the valuable materials of the natural universe we are looting. Let us see the next slide. For example, the sun is a specific state constitutes a condition of human life. Let us see about the sun. But it is not regulated by men. We never can control the regulation of the sun. According, accordingly, concern relating to the state of the sun is not encompassed by the meaning of protecting the environment. Any cosmic catastrophe that may occur on the sun, its destruction and scattering throughout the universe, for example, will probably result in the extinction of human society, Francy. The survival, the peaceful existence of the sun we are to see here. And what will happen? Any cosmic catastrophe that may occur on the sun, its destruction and scattering throughout the universe, for example, will, what will happen? Will probably result in the extinction of human society in totality. Let us see the next slide. But man cannot do anything to avoid this, even if there were knowledge concerning to the impeding, impending occurrence of such a catastrophe. The state of the sun as a star does not depend on the will and behavior of individuals. However, the amount of solar energy about which we are discussing, discussing much you see in today's social order, reaching the earth surface depends to a certain extent on the state of the atmosphere which is experiencing the consequences of human activities and may be regulated by man. We have control here in this part, but we do not have control there in the first part. And this is our, this should be, or we can learn about this, the significance of the second part by studying, or with the help of the knowledge of environmental education, or by studying the contents of environmental education. Let us see the next slide. Accordingly, the maintaining of a favorable regime of solar radiation through the regulation of the state of the atmosphere does enter into the content of environmental protection. Considering all these, which are being explained by some of the great, uh, you see, scholars or the researchers, men have to realize the importance of the components of the environment and behave accordingly for their protection. Such understanding is more socio-psychological, which has to be systematically developed in each and every student through environmental education. And that's why environmental education has special importance from the basic level of our education to the topmost level. And perhaps, friend, here in this, con here in this context, 
you will be able to remember about the speech of the 14th Honorable President of India, Ramnath Kavin. Kavin explained about the significance of the protection of the environment. So throughout the global social order, for the existence of the human social order, there is the significance of understanding the contents of environmental education and that's why from primary to university level environmental education has become one of the most important subject matters of study and this is the last part relating to the scope of environmental education up to point number four and in some of the points you got some of the additional sub points which do have special importance for explaining about the scope of environmental education so friends, here we are to say thank you so much because in the coming class we are to discuss about the principles of environmental education when also you will get some, you see, some information relating to the concept and scope of environmental education. Thank you so much.